All right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. In today's video, we're going to talk about the 2022 Pittsburgh Pro guest posing. If you guys don't know, every year the Pittsburgh Pro, it's the Mannion Show. So it's like the biggest guest posing of the year. They always have crazy guest posing guests, and this year was no exception. You had the likes of Brandon Curry, Nick Walker, Derek Lunsford, and Hunter Labrada. Very interesting guest posing because they did a little bit of a kind of a fun thing where they did some quarter turns with the guys. Um, and obviously, Derek is your 212 Mr. Olympia. Brandon is your men's open Mr. Olympia from a couple years back, granted. And of course, Nick and Hunter were neck and neck at this past year's. Mr. Olympia. A lot of people think that's the biggest rivalry going into this year's Mr. Olympia um, because they want to see maybe those placings change up. So let's go ahead and look at these quarter turns first. You had a quarter turn to the right and a quarter turn to the left. You really didn't get to see a full comparison of every pose, but this was this was interesting because you get to see, you know, the takeaway from me here was Derek Lunsford. That was the first thing that really caught my eye because as you guys know, Derek has kind of been hinting at switching to men's open bodybuilding and lately in the offseason, he has looked gigantic. I believe he's like 250 plus right now. And he's competing in 212. He's got to cut like 40 pounds to get back down to 212. But if you notice in the quarter turns, Derek is shorter than Nick. And Nick's relatively short, but Nick is known for being a freak. He's, he's known for being the mutant, a mass monster. And granted, every one of these guys is pretty much in full offseason mode right now. But am I the only one that thinks Derek looks gigantic? in a lineup of some of the best men's open bodybuilders there are. I mean, you've got a Mr. Olympia, Brandon Curry. He just won the Arnold Classic. You've got four and five at the Olympia, Nick and Hunter, who are so top open Olympians. And Derek, I think, is holding his own. I would love to see a full-on pose down between these guys. If you look at this quarter turn specifically, look at Derek's legs. This is the impressive part, and I've said this to Hani before. Hani Rambot is Derek's coach. The crazy transformation that he made working with Derek, that he made with Derek working with Derek. Look at how big Derek's legs look in the side shots. When Derek first turned pro and he first became a threat at the 212 Olympia, a lot of people criticized his legs as being the weak point of his physique. His legs in that picture to me look just as big as Nick Walker's, dare I say, if not bigger. I honestly cannot believe how good Derek looks in this I, and how big he looks. It, it's really it's really quite impressive. And I like to make this point a lot whenever I talk about Derek because I think it's a really fair point that pertains to Derek. Is If you think about some of the guys that came over from 212, William Bonac came over to men's open bodybuilding from 212. Heidi Chupin came over to men's open bodybuilding from 212. Neither of those guys ever won the Olympia in 212, and they've both became top of the top, top three in the world at one point or another in their careers in men's open bodybuilding. Derek won the Olympia in 212. So you could make a pretty fair argument that if Derek were to switch to men's open bodybuilding, he could do better than Hadi Chupin has done. He could do better than William Bonac has done because he did better in 212 than either of them has, has done. I would say, you know, at this point, at least in the off season, Derek looks bigger than Hottie. I don't know if he's more muscular at this point than Bonac. Bonac's a pretty bit, he's pretty stacked. But I, I just really think it's noteworthy that you can take a guy like Derek Lunsford coming from 212, put him next to arguably one of the most muscular, one of the freakiest, one of the thickest, one of the densest bodybuilders in men's open, Nick Walker. That I mean, that's literally what he's known for. And Derek does not look small next to him. That to me is very impressive, and that to me suggests that not only might Derek have top six at the Olympia in men's open potential if he were to switch, maybe he would be even higher than that. Maybe you'd find him in the range of a Hadi Chupin, top three, top four. So that was my first thought. My main takeaway was how good Derek looked in this lineup. My second takeaway would be Nick Walker. I mean, he obviously looked gigantic. He's fully in his offseason, Fully blown, probably the biggest we've ever seen him. He's pushing 300 pounds, if not 300 right now. He looks crazy. He looks thick. He looks big. It's Nick Walker. He's the mutant. And it's about what I expected. And, and from what I could see, he did keep his midsection under control, which I think was cool. I would say the two tightest guys here were probably Brandon and Hunter. Hunter looked really almost tighter than Brandon, considering the fact that Hunter, Nick, and Derek have all been in their offseason for way longer than Brandon has. I mean, Brandon just got done with the Arnold Classic in March, so he would, you know, likely be in better shape. But yeah, overall, I'd say Brandon and, and Hunter, they looked the tightest, and I'd say Nick and, and Derek actually really looked the biggest. 
So be sure to let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet already. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that bell notification button. As always, I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.